This next podcast is our chat with Daniel Bath, who uh, set up music for the many. You've already talked to Pip about that, haven't you? Yes, we've spoken to Pip Fowler about music for the many, but Daniel actually sort of set it up uh, Mm. in conversation with other musicians and his wife. Yeah, as he said, for one said, "What's a good idea?" I was going to say that. Yeah. Yes. That made him think. Oh, well, maybe it is. Yeah, it's a great service. Uh, it makes music accessible, playing of music accessible to um, children, mostly in Todbledon. Yeah, um, accessibility fits with the general culture of Todbledon, with like things like. Incredible edible. Incredible edible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Couldn't think awesome. of it because you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, and it's the. It's not just providing instruments, which they do. Mm. It's also providing teaching and getting them together to play in orchestras, which is an amazing it thing is, to it's do. A, it's, it's a great service. He also talks about and bands he's in, but he's not much when it comes to self promotion, is he? <laughs> no. He is quite modest, isn't he? He is, and he seemed embarrassed that uh, the jazz trio he's in is called the Daniel Bath Trio. Yeah, yeah, but it is. But for such a modest man, he's done amazing things. In 2020, uh, the mayor of the then mayor of Tomberdon, uh, Ruth Coleman, mm-hmm. presented him with an Outstanding Citizenship Award. And well deserved. Much deserved it is too. Came to our house, um, spoke about Music of the Many and the band he's in. Then he went on to talk about Lucy Illingworth. Which, yeah, is absolutely amazing. And we thought that would make an episode in itself. So this is part one of Daniel Bath. Right, so here we are in our kitchen in once our again. Kitchen. Once again. <laughs> Uh, with the cat on the table. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> right. Uh, with Daniel Bath. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Dave. How are you? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Um, so we mainly want to talk to you about music for the many. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, so a, a few other things sorry, will crop up. Keep the cat's tail out. Keep the cat's tail, <laughs> the the tail in the cupboard. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, most people like so that, they? music for the many, it is... Is Todd and based, you were involved in setting it up, or you set yeah. it up. I'm not quite sure well, it, it, which it's, is the right terminology. Yeah, well, it, it's the the uh, the origins of it is anyone who, who comes to our events has probably heard the story several times. Which is that so to, no towards the end of 2017, um, I was uh, I'd been to several uh, meetings with other music teachers and uh, tended to be everyone. Um, sort of bemoaning the fact that um, music education is in such a terrible state and there's no funding and there's fewer and fewer children being able to access music education and, and the knock-on is that no one's doing GCSE music, no one's doing A-level, the degree courses can't survive and then there's not going to be any players for the orchestras and so on, you know, and all because at the very early level children couldn't access music opportunities and it was all it sort of so negative and one day I was sitting that in our kitchen I was uh, doing the washing up and um, and the idea came to me because I'd been thinking about this a lot you know how you know what can we do actually possibly I said well let's just give the children the opportunity instead of you know complain about it um it was one of those things so and then uh and I said to uh, my wife Ali um, I said, I've just had this idea. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start this this new uh, uh, thing for instrumental lessons, and it's going to be completely free. And it's going to be open to all the children in the schools, and we're going to call it Music for the Many. Now, usually, when <laughs> when I say something like that to to you know have a harebrained scheme, she like said maybe we'll make one or two sort of. Uh, pacifying comments and, and then and then sort of gently tell me that it's really not a very good idea how you thought this. But this time, the first time ever, she said, yes, that's a really good idea. Mm-hmm. I said, what do you think about the name? 
and said, yeah, it's good. <laughs> and that was it. So then, so, so no, then no had, backing out. So then I had to do it then. <laughs> and so that's how it started. And so it's, um, and then, you know, then there was, obviously we had to think about how, how to, how to do it properly. So, mm. and looking at all the models and we decided to set it up as a charity. And then um, I got um, a group of trustees who sort of, you know, mentioned, mentioned the idea to one or two colleagues you know uh, mm. to see what they thought and everyone said that's oh, brilliant when do we start you know sort of thing <laughs> so um so yeah we got a, a group of trustees together like you do when you start a charity to, so it was uh january 2018 and then um so were these started... musical people the trustees yeah n- uh, well yeah it's the sort of people that local people that i knew had well were sort of you know competent to mm. to run an organization with the with the you know the kind of skills that you need and also uh people who um are you know i knew were sympathetic to this you know who would who would be sympathetic to this idea because you know being a charity trustee can, can be very thankless kind of yes. <laughs> you know, it's, it's can be you know not not all fun so uh so yeah, more, more, more pains than gain. Personally, yeah. that's right. I've yeah. heard lots of people say. Yeah, it's like being a school governor. It's like, <laughs> but if it's a, a subject that you're passionate about, that's that it, must yeah. help. You know. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of I, so that's like, I think the the way that we 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 fund what we do, it's 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 all funded. Well, nearly all funded by just private donations. People. You know, donated. Mm. You know, we put on fundraising events, um, and it, which are all sort of, we we never sell anything. So the fundraising events are all sort of, you know, pay as you can admission because mm-hmm. that's part of the ethos is that everything is accessible to everybody. Um. So uh, and then um, we have like people giving us monthly donations, and occasionally someone will get in touch and say, you know, we've had a, you know, someone's had. An inheritance, and we want to give you some of it. That oh, that you know, yeah. sort of bigger amounts occasionally, and 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 it's all, uh, and, but most of it is just shaking a bucket at events, and and yeah. you know, and I think that a lot of the way that society functions nowadays is based on shaking buckets at events. So that's you know, that's mm-hmm. that's what has replaced public funding, uh, which is you know, right. it's, yes, you know, you don't want to encourage that to because it, <laughs> it can danger perpetuated that. As an expectation of how it works, but um, yes, it, it's it, it's been on in decline. Grants have been in decline for yeah. 20, yeah. 25 years mm. or, or, or more. Yeah, um, I tend to blame Thatcher for everything, but it's not entirely well, yeah. their fault in no, this can, case uh, because nobody's done anything <laughs> to improve the situation yeah. since. Uh, so, how does yeah. it work then? Do you go out? With the money you've raised, and buy instruments or no? Uh, well, what actually, one of one of the uh, when when we when we first um, when we started it, mm. the, the 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 main issue that was brought up when sort of discussing the idea with other people: well, how are you going to get the instrument? Where are you going to get instruments from? Mm. Um, because uh, that would be expensive. And and I said, well, well, we'll just. Ask people for instruments, <laughs> so we did. We, put, right, we did a sort okay. of instrument amnesty, we call it. Mm. So you know, uh, which a few people have done. Uh, you know, it's, there's a few similar schemes around the country. Mm. But like Ronnie Scott uh, did quite a high profile one last year, um, where they had, um, uh, and it's just the idea that a lot of people, as we've discovered, have musical instruments. You know, in their lofts or you know, tucked away, which maybe yeah. their children used to learn on, but no one's played for years. And uh, and so we we yeah we just put a call out and said if you've got any instruments that you can donate let us know and we've never been short of instruments we've got mm. like we've got at the moment about a hundred and hundred and thirty between hundred thirty and hundred forty children learning instruments with us in various places and and they they all have an instrument to play and we've got. We've got some instruments in, you know, waiting to go out. Which, so we, it was fantastic. It is, yeah. It's a, it's amazing. I was, thinking, <laughs> it's, it's. I was thinking it's like the, you know, the feeding of the five thousand. This idea when it's like that. That's sort of the idea that if 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 
people think that something's a good idea, you know, so that something needs to happen, then it kind of does because that's, mm. you know, society at its best. That's how mm. Kropotkin would, yeah. you know, would say that, I yeah. think. I mean, it's 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 community activism it is, yeah, at its yeah. best, isn't it? I yeah. mean, people think of activism as you you save our hospital yeah, or yeah. whatever it is, stop that road from being built yeah. you know, through the, our park. You know, but it's communities are active things. I always mm. think of you know, uh, the, the word community is a verb rather yeah. than a noun. Yeah, <laughs> you're, that's, you're yeah. not doing it. You're not really yeah. part of it. it uh, yeah, it's it's. Yeah, I mean that's been. I mean the big thing that is is uh, the, the most obvious example of that is food banks, isn't it? That's mm. I mean, which mm. is again something that 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 sh- that, that, uh, that shouldn't exist. Mm. You know, shouldn't have to exist. Um, and it's this, and it's it's shown that like communities will, you know, if, if something's mm. needed, you know, people are generally nice. Oh, <laughs> I mean, <absolutely>. you know, <laughs> that's a, that's our default, you know, position. Is yes, it, uh, yes. People like to sort of sit in the pub or over a coffee and moan about everybody. Yeah, but then, yeah. you know, some kid needs them to go to America for an operation, yeah. and sort of the money's raised yeah. in quite poor communities. Yeah, it 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 does happen. Yeah. So it's good to hear that of another example of it. Yeah, really. it is, and it's it's been really. I mean, the, the sort of the most of the uh, the expense of what we do is 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 fees. Is so we, we pay. Um, because we, we've got a team, which this year has really expanded. We've got like, um, how many have we got now? So we've got nine tutors who work for us. Mm. I mean, it's, it's not, you know, full time, but the, um, and and so so most of the expense is, is paying the tutors because all, mm-hmm. you know, they're really good <laughs> professional tutors and mm. they need paid. So, um uh, so and 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 so that that's always the pressure on the fundraising. Really, is, is to is to just because it's expensive. I mean, that's why it's become inaccessible because it is very expensive to provide mm. instrumental tuition. Yeah. And a lot. Of, I'm going to guess now. You tell me if I'm right or wrong. But my <laughs> experience is most of those most music teachers are musicians, and part of their income is from gigs. Yeah, and part of it is from. Mm. You're teaching in projects yeah. like yours, yeah, yeah, which is, you know, it's it, it's a great. I mean, I've I've worked in education for years. Yeah, I I found that working with music teachers, uh, in in a music college, yeah, was very different from working with psychologists and sociologists yeah. in in the university yeah. <laughs> because the musicians are musicians. Yeah. Yeah, and other people teach about yeah, psychology yeah. and sociology yeah. on the whole. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. it's yeah, it's a good it's a good example. Um, yeah. So give us an example of one of the projects that's well, music for the many is involved in. We t- our our uh, the the so I'm going the core work is is um, is uh, instrumental lessons, but it, it's. We, we, when we started off, we, we did it in a very sort of traditional, old-fashioned way where, you know, just a, we get once a week, the child has, a, you know, usually 20 minutes or half an hour, and sometimes mm-hmm. it's a group of children, sometimes it's individual children, depending on the best way for them to, to learn. Um, but um, we, uh, we, we realised that they were, um, because most of our students don't have, other musicians at home and and they mm-hmm. don't really uh, have any context for their music making in that they're not especially you know if, if like if, we, if we're uh, teaching them to play um, you know some classical repertoire you know Beethoven symphony or something like that then it's not something that they will experience in, in any other place mm-hmm. so we were mm-hmm. so then we thought well uh, we need to give them a context for that and so we started teaching children in an orchestra so we 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 sort of turned it around rather than having sort of an individual lesson and gradually getting the hang of your instrument and then looking for an orchestra to join mm. we did it the other way around we thought well everyone will will just you'll start off in an orchestra and from that we'll have a look and think what do you need to learn and then we'll sort of <laughs> the, the children are all there together and mm. then um we we have a look. This this child uh, needs to work on their um, you know phrasing, or this child needs to uh, 
a kind of intonation in this passage of music or that kind of thing. And so then we, we sort of do that in that targeted way, mm. which is a more sort of efficient way of kind of yeah. teaching. But that's that's the big thing. And probably has more that. relevance to the kids as well who are playing the instruments. Yeah. They? yeah. They can hear it among other exactly, yeah. Yeah. things and with, with yeah. contact, let's yeah. say. Yeah. Because it's really important to us that that, that, that it's that they're learning social skills. And mm. and that they're learning that music is about community and and that idea that you you, you know that 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 um, other people are dependent on you to to do mm. your job because then mm. that makes their thing work and you know that's that idea of music so which is good and, and it sort of motivates everyone more. And, and you know. music's normally a, a group thing, whether it's a yeah. sort of like a, a rock trio yeah. <laughs> with sort of drums, bass, yeah. and guitar, or yeah. it's a full orchestra. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. always, oh, yeah. always yeah. a thing to be done with other people. Yeah, and yet yeah. the way they learn it. I mean, I might have carried on with piano lessons if it hadn't just been me yeah. and my piano teacher yeah. once a week. Mm. You know, mm. if there'd been other people mm. involved with other instruments, I don't know. Yeah, you know? yeah. 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 piano is piano is a. I'm, that's my first instrument is piano, and, and it's. Uh, yeah, it's it's quite a solitary thing <laughs> to do, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, because you're like, yeah, most. I mean, it's it's that's it is mm. generally a solo instrument. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, but you are involved in a few bands groups. Yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the the Daniel Bath Trio. The Daniel Bath Trio. Yeah, which yeah, it's it's funny that I, I, it's it's um, yeah. I, I, so I don't, it feels weird having a belaying in something which has got your name in the title. Mm. It feels a bit. It's um, a very jazz thing to do. I know. <laughs> it's, 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 it's well, Dave awesome. Brubeck file. Yeah. Daniel yeah. Bath. Yeah. Yeah. that's why it's. <laughs> so it's yeah, but um, yeah, it's uh, I I play uh, I play piano in Sentimentalists, mm -hmm. which has been going for years and years uh, with uh, my very good friend Pip Fowler. Another top modern person who's incidentally is, is the chair of our trustees as well. I believe so. Yes. For the many. He's, he's, yeah, um, I know Pip quite well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he's yeah. Mr. Top modern. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah, he's, um, yeah, he's brilliant. Um, and he's a fantastic songwriter, actually. Mm. I was with that's the pleasure of playing in that band, actually, it's just the songs. And every now and again, they'll come up, we'll come up with a new song. And I think, oh, that's amazing. You know, and then, and, uh, and, it's, and it gets to the point where you sort of listen to other songs and you think, oh, that's quite a good song, but it's not as good as Pip Fowler. It's no Pip Fowler. But it's, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a very, and it, it's, he's, you know, it's funny and and um, sort of, uh, you know, clever, but not in a forced way. And, and, and very, so a lot of it's very, very profound, uh, mm. the words of his, his songs. Um, and it's great. It's uh, mm. so I've been doing that for 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 a long time with sort of occasional glimmers of success, <laughs> <laughs> whatever that looks like. Yes, well, yes. Um, <clears throat> so, what are these glimmers of success? You have intrigued me now. <laughs> well, no, we, we've done we've done a few things. Well, like we 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 uh, they put us on in on the stage at Glastonbury a few years ago. Mm. Well, long time about was it ten years ago now? I think. Mm. Um, and um, yeah, we we made a, a a nice album a while ago. Um, yeah, we've we've played a what was it? <laughs> we did a support spot for the fall. Oh, in cool. uh, in London once. Um, oh, fantastic! Uh, that was good fun. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's it's great. I mean, we we you know we played some lovely. Uh, we, we did a fantastic gig uh, a few months ago at the Rosemount Working Men's Club in in the Staxteds, mm -hmm. which was, that was a, an amazing gig, actually. That was really fascinating. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Such, a, such right. a funny place. So, uh, yeah. Um, no, it was great. It was really, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're always doing things now and again. Yeah. And we're playing... The, trio? Well, we, we're... Um, um, the the jazz trio, we... we um, it's, we play very occasionally. To be honest, I mean, most of the time I'm too busy doing music for the many to, mm -hmm. <laughs> to you know, so trying to yeah. write funding applications and stuff to do very much. So I don't really, um, I don't really promote it. You know, to try and get gigs, but occasionally someone asks us, you know, to to play. Yeah. Um, 
So, so what but, instruments do the others play? In the uh, piano, drums and bass. So, right. so we've got a drummer uh, He's a great uh, drummer from, it's the same drummer that plays in Sentimentalist actually, mm. John Shepherd from um, uh, from Leeds. He's a fantastic drummer. Um, and then bass player called Adam Medlock, who's a, who's originally I know was a teacher, I used to teach mm. with him. Uh, mm. He's a good, great bass player. Yeah. Yeah. And talking about teaching, your face got well known on television um, with Lucy Ellingworth. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. I uh, yeah I I, uh, I teach um, yeah Lucy. I've, I've known her for uh, ages. Since From there, Daniel went on to talk about the amazing Lucy Ellingworth, who won Channel 4's TV program The Piano. Uh, 13, 14 year old Lucy is just amazing, has been play, playing piano for about 10 years. As Lucy is very much worth an episode in herself, I'll chat with Daniel about her and we'll form part two, which will follow shortly. In the meantime, let's just have a brief listen to the Daniel Bath Trio. Mm -hmm. 